everybody, Stefan from TC Electronic here in sunny Denmark yeah. with Peter Hayes mm -hmm. at TCHQ dialing in some tone prints. Yes. And uh, this time we did a tone print for the Hall of Fame reverb. Mm -hmm. Could you could you tell the viewers what you this were going for? It's the easy way to <laughs> out. This, this, you can't mess up, you can't fuck up reverbs a whole lot. Um, <laughs> I, what, what I do live is I play out of four amps, so I... Yep. I that's a lot of amps. Yeah, yeah. Can always have more. <laughs> yeah. I agree. And so one of the, and and on record too. There's always some, I, I'll double the guitar. I'll play. I usually play the part I'll, instead of fake doubling. Mm -hmm. I usually play it. Try to match myself. As as much as possible, and then those panned hard left and right, yep. and then a reverb up the middle. And it's just going for voice. It's it's kind of a. I treat it like a voice thing. I'm looking for harmonies and and melodies that are buried in the in the reverb. Yeah, um, so the reverb creates all these different harmonics in, in the yeah. background or yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's kinda up to the front of the house guy to use it live, um, depending on if you're inside, outside. I got a marshal that's dry usually so he can have control. Um, it gets distortion and, and pro nothing else really. Okay. Um, maybe a real quick delay. But that can be brought in and, and give, give some definition to things. Um, I don't know, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, does. Okay. it yeah. does. So this is just kind of going, this is going for what I, what I do in rehearsals and, and live. That's, this is basically kind yeah. of it. Um, pretty so simple. So did you have a, a specific song in mind when you, oh. when you made the tone print or? Um, yeah, well, yeah, there's a song we do, Scream and Gun, yeah. um, that is kind of w when you, when you, when we're torn, or Red Eyes, um, Red Eyes and Tears is, um, basically similar to this, All it's in a rack mount, mm -hmm. uh, but, um, it sounds like this, um, so, e but when we're, when we're torn, I, I, uh, you know, Bef for sound check, it's usually about two songs. You really kind of, once you get those two right, everything else works. Yeah. And so this is kind of the, the start of it. That's what that's about. Okay. This one's about anyways. And I guess the thought is to be able to, um, be able to use it in all positions. So it's got that low cut, right? We yes. Low we we, we took uh, out a fair amount of the low end so it doesn't get too mushy. Yeah. Uh, and I don't use uh, pre-delay hardly at all. Um, so yeah, we actually set the the short pre-delay at zero, so there's nothing, and the long pre-delay at at 25 milliseconds, so that's even <laughs> pretty short for a long yeah. pre-delay. It's nothing. Yeah, but that's good. Yeah, that's I, I keep it pretty simple. Did, was there modulation left on it? I can't remember. Uh, a little. No, uh, just a tad of chorusing, but it's it's not much. Just to bring a little extra width to yeah, the yeah. sound. Yeah. Uh, would you like to play a bit? There, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Sounds great. Pull off stuff, and if it's long enough to, um, if it's long enough to, to, uh, you know, uh, to make mistakes, <laughs> you know, then you have some room to think. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty. It's pretty simple. Perfect. Thank you, Pete. Thank you very much. 